morning. Welcome to another vlog. We just are leaving. Where is he? There he is. We're just leaving the vet. Wrigley got his, I guess it's monthly shot. He gets an allergy shot every month now. We don't know exactly what he's allergic to. We know it's not, f well, he could be allergic to food, but that's not what's still itching him or causing him to scratch because we've eliminated chicken and grain from his diet, so that's not it. We think he might actually be allergic to grass. So, he has his monthly, it's called a caddy shot. Is it C-A-D-I? Uh, Do you know how to say yeah, it? Yeah, C-A-D-I. C-A-D-I. So if you have a dog that has Six weeks, I think, is what they say. allergies, like scratching, ask your vet about that. It lasts, Michael said, six weeks. It can last anywhere from 30 days to, to 90. 90. Wrigley's right around the six week mark. So anyway, we're gonna bring him back home. And uh, I think I'm gonna pop over to Nordstrom. I have a return to make and uh, let's just make that an exchange. Who needs to return when we can swap it out for something else? I'm back at Nordstrom. I'm returning, I just returned the one thing that didn't work and uh, now I'm buying something else. I'm gonna go head upstairs and see what's left that I haven't bought. You guys see some crazy hair, but I don't care. Um, finally, it's been like at least two weeks. Fourth of July ride has got to go. And I'm trying something else. The lady before me walked out with the prettiest bright pink yet pale pink nails. So this is the color. I'll list it in the description box. It's from the brand DND. And it's Coral Castle. No, it's in from Coral Castle, Florida. It's shade 550. I don't know. It's not gel. It's nail polish. So, but it comes in the gel too. You'll see it when I'm all done. All right, I know that when I was talking to you in the nail salon, I was getting a particular color, but once we put it on, I decided I didn't like it. So I went for a classic, an oldie but a goodie, OPI Mod About You. Do you remember this color? It's been a long time. So still light pink, but it's just a little brighter, very summery. Also, I did pick up a couple more things from the sale, but you're probably getting sick of me talking about it. So I'm gonna save this for my last Nordstrom video, which will be up August 3rd. So you wanna see what's in this bag? Stick around. Um, tonight, very exciting. Premiere of Real Housewives of Orange County, new season, two new housewives, and Southern Charm of Savannah, which even though I don't really like, I am still watching. Why? I don't know. But that is what's happening at my house and maybe some packing and some hair washing. Tonight is hair washing night, as evidenced by the ponytail. That should have been your dead giveaway. Alrighty then. I'm gonna get some work done and then I'm gonna go take a shower early so that I can let my hair air dry while I watch my reality TV shows. It's a sad, sad state, isn't it? Does anyone else do like full makeup, then put on their clothes, then do their hair? I don't know. Anyway, just waiting for my steamer to steam up. I'll show you what it looks like. I always talk about it, but I never show it to you. Here it is. Yes, I'm in my robe. Don't freak out, people, and don't look at my dirt. I have to put that in the wash. Okay, oop, it's on. This is the Conair, can you hear it making noises? It doesn't have a name, it just has a model number. Anyway, this is my very fancy steaming setup. I'm steaming this little guy. I'm just hanging out at home for the most part, packing. We leave tomorrow for Charleston, and I'm going to a little girls' night out at my friend Shannon's house, who you saw in the last vlog, and we're going to play with her puppy and hang out in her pool. And by hang out, I mean I'll be sitting on the edge of the pool with my feet in it, and I'm not getting in the pool. I will eventually do my hair today at some point. <coughs> Excuse me. So I just put it in the oven. I am making my first attempt at making it going to look like this. Hopefully. This is the recipe, it's called Bacon Bites. I will link it if I can find it online. It comes from this cookbook. I have mentioned this cookbook about six gajillion times. And so they're cooking in the oven, they're called Bacon Bites. It's bacon, breadsticks, and brown sugar. So I use real bacon, um, gluten-free breadsticks from Char, and brown sugar. So you put the brown sugar in a dish, you take the bacon and wrap it around a breadstick, and then you roll it in the brown sugar and you bake it in on a cookie sheet. Um, so hopefully this turns out. About halfway through they recommend flipping them over so they caramelize evenly. I've had them before at an event at Ole Miss and they were amazing. They taste like candy crunchy bacon. 
like just they're amazing hopefully they will turn out well i'm bringing them to girls night out and uh, i'll check in when they're out i broke one i got a little overzealous in the rolling and so um that will be my taster one so we'll see how it turns out while i wait maybe i can do something with my hair i made an attempt at a messy bun i would just say it's messy hair so we're not going to talk about it but here are the bacon wrapped breadsticks they don't look like much but when they are displayed in a cute little cup with some napkins, you know, like to cup them, so to speak, they do look less like dog treats. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I mean, seriously, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I'm gonna just package them up and then head over to the little gathering. I am also going to go get my move dog cards against humanity just in case we feel like playing a game. This is my little game closet. I have a big dog in the way. Here we go. Here we go. Some adult fun. And probably make it an early night though because we are traveling tomorrow. Okay, be good for daddy guys. No partying while mommy's gone. Gosh, we are so bad. We videoed nothing. There's like no proof that we were here. But here's the aftermath of the mom party. You don't video it until we ate all that. Those That's proof. There we go. There were meatballs there. All the meatballs are gone. And look, we only drink water, right? Chupa Chico. Yep. And water. more regular water. That's correct. I think this is my water. This is Paul right in the water. I love this dog. They put a baby mirror? <laughs> oh, Ru not Rudy, what are you? Rocky. Rocky. Look, it, it moves. You're such a good boy. Go look at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Yeah, she's not, he's not gonna make this it This is this. gonna last a week. Yeah. He's gonna clear sure. this. Hi, hi. You're so sweet. He's a good boy. You're so sweet. Ooh, his, he's really wet because he stuck his face in that. Oh, he's gonna, I, are those glass bowls? Yeah, yeah. She's no. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, shit. And aren't they seeing my floor? Are you for the summer? He's at, he's at Ole Miss the whole summer. Oh, he is? He's coming home in a week. For how long? Three weeks. <laughs> and then he goes back. Leaving for Charleston this afternoon. Did you hear me say that? Charleston? What is wrong with you? Um, I don't know that I like... Our flight doesn't leave till... Ooh, darkness. Till 2.15. And I don't think I like that because I have this false sense of, oh, I have time. I don't have to do this, that, or the other thing. Hang on, I have to go this direction. Um, I think I prefer to leave first thing in the morning because then I cannot procrastinate. We just went to CVS to pick up snacks for the plane. This is Michael's preference. Good God, could you get a bigger... Shame texted us for his preference. He's not coming with us, but these are his snacks. His preferred snack. And I picked up my usual indulgence for travel. Jelly beans and mini chewy sweet tarts. And I will repackage these and put them in um, Ziploc bags so I can reseal them. And I will, of course, pick out the color I don't like to eat so I don't have to look at it on the plane so it's easy to eat. Anyway, so, um, and I'm only doing carry-on, which is, uh, you know, a little tricky. I will show you that when I get to the airport, my, my new little suitcase that I got in a PR thing. I don't even, I would give credit to the company that sent it to me, but I got a bunch of all at once, and I, I can't, I think it was, mm, I don't want to say, because I don't want to say the wrong brand. Yeah, no, totally can't remember. Um... So I'm gonna see if it lives up to all the blogger hype. We will put it through the mill on this trip. More on that when we get to the airport. We are halfway, well, well more than halfway across the country now. We are at the Charlotte airport. Yes, I didn't think about that. We are in a pretty cool place. It's a chain, Whiskey River, and behind me is an entire wall of belt looking. I found a Texas one. We're gonna keep looking. And they have live music. They've taken a little break from the live music. Oh, we just ordered a giant thing of nachos. So, <laughs> excuse me, my throat is so dry. Getting a little liquid refreshment. And Michael's happy because the ESPYs are on the screen behind me. And all is good. So far, travel is easy.
keys to PC. So next stop, Charleston, South Carolina. I will tell you this, it is a lot more humid in the southeast. My hair is expanding as the day has gone on. Look at this, unbelievable. Okay, we are checked into the hotel. Um, and I got my badge. I feel very cool. Um, and they gave us little gifts for, at check-in. Um, this is <laughs> very uh, young oriented group and very like social media cool and trendy. So the gift at check-in was a little cooler bag filled with beer. Cool beer. It's a, I can't drink it because it's not gluten-free, but it's um, beer and tea blend. Like this one is uh, amber ale blended with things like hibiscus flower, lemon peel, fruit juices, agave, nectar. And this one is uh, a stout with cocoa nibs and coconut water, pineapple juice, chai tea. Anyway, the brand's called Owl's Brew Rattler. I can't tell you how it tastes. Maybe Michael will try one later the, during the week, but I'm gonna put them in a the little fridge. We have like a little, like a little suite. We're at the Hyatt Place. It's very cute, it's very nice. It's perfect, um, but I'm all tired, so I'm gonna unpack. We are in the car on our way to the conference. Um, originally, we were staying at the hotel where the conference was supposed to be held, but the conference sold out. And, uh, they moved the conference site to somewhere bigger, which is kind of neat because it's downtown on King Street. They have a shuttle bus, which is taking the conference participants to the site, but Michael rented us a car so that we could go see Charleston if they let us out or we have some free time, I think, tomorrow. It is raining. I am told it does that a lot in the summer, so this might be the first and last look you have at halfway decent hair. I feel so tall. Why? Oh, because I'm in, I'm in heels. We're the same. Tall and little. No, we're the same size, woman. We're the same uh, size no, and the same uh, height. I'm wearing four. No, I'm shorter than you. No. Look. <laughs> look. Yeah, I do have her flats. Yeah, now we're the same. Oh, that, I'm doing we're that on my... I'm, Coffee. You say that and then someone's gonna come. Oh, oh my god, what's in there now? No, I'm leaving it. Okay, we are at the SMADCON conference. SMAD, we're at SMADCON. Con. Con. I don't know what I'm doing here. We don't know what we're doing here. This is Michelle. Hello. Michelle is a blogger, photographer, of the Charleston lens. Yes. If you like Charleston, I'm, I'm your girl because I love Charleston. And her pictures are beautiful on Instagram. They really are. I follow her, and she follows me, and so we met here. Yes. Finally. Yay! It's I'm been so years. excited. And um, I knew we were kindred spirits because she's. I have the same, but I love mine at home. I'm so annoyed. It's sitting on my dresser in my closet. Like I see it on my closet counter. I'm so mad. Anyway, we're here at this conference. I'm I'm speaking in two hours. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out when I get there. You're kind of um, a lemming here because there's not a lot of bloggers. It looks more like techie kind of people. Yeah, but, I'm out of my but element. That's good. No, but you got to have the tech to be successful. So yeah, I, I love tech. Right thing. I outsource that though because I don't get it. But the one thing that we're both very interested in, let's walk over there and check it yes. out. Hang yes, on. please. I think I have to back up to get this. This is. Um, I'm clearly about 15 to 20 years too old to be here, but um. Yeah, you want to be in the, we're, we're, it's rolling, this is video, you can come back. Together? No, we're good. <laughs> yes, no, please. Um, go. So this is a unicorn, I don't know what this is. Is it a floaty? Is it a hot tub? I don't know. It would be a great hot tub. Take it into the sea. It's whatever, it's whatever magic you want it to be. It's a magic unicorn. You are your own unicorn, you just have to find it. And to tap into your unicorn horn, you develop your personal brand. Oh That's my god. Really oh, I love that. Oh! Be a horse if it had branded itself as something magical. If I put that in my pool, can we go in there? That, you can go in. I wear a dress. So sometimes in Charleston, like on the 4th of July, they take these and put them at the edge of their dock. Oh. And sit and float out there all day and watch the fireworks. Now that would work in an ocean, but it's not going to work in an ocean. Oh, no. 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 And don't take it to a public house. So oh, I just realized that was this guy. Like, that was that guy. There you go. All right, we're about to go on, and I'm in a little pretty small room. This is the room. There's my little area back there, and my hair is kind of a mess. Sorry, I'm using the camera to fluff myself up. Anyway, so um, I don't know if Michael will get some footage of me or not, but maybe so. If so, I will insert it. Otherwise, I'll see you after this. Hopefully it goes well. The niche I started eight years ago it was over 30 now it's over 40 it wasn't very big then it's getting bigger but it's still not there and i represent especially in the youtube world a pretty small 
minority. There is no such thing as a perfect life or a fairy tale marriage. Um, although I think it's what I have is pretty close. But um, this is what life, real life, looks like. I vlog without any makeup on. I have pimples and blemishes and wrinkles and. Sometimes I get Botox and I have less wrinkles, but this, and I will show it to you, and I will show you what it looks like when I get Botox, because I want people to see this is what, this is what 45 can look like, or sometimes looks like, and that there's nothing, I don't use filters when I, when I film or when I put myself on Instagram. I might adjust for brightness because I'm a horrible picture taker, but other than that, I think it's important that we stop measuring ourselves up to people that don't exist. All of you have a story to tell. We all do. The only difference between me and any of you who don't have a YouTube channel is I was crazy enough to pick up the camera and give it a shot. I thought y'all might enjoy this. Does this look familiar? This is Patricia Altschul's house. This is so wrong on so many levels, but um, yep, stocked it. So there you go. I'm parked outside her house. There are the famous green shutters. Um, it's beautiful. There's her gate. Well, you can't really see it. It's down there. And um, thank you, Michael, for humoring me and taking me down here. I need to qualify this by saying that yes, this was total stalker behavior, but while I stood out there and did an Instagram story of myself, um, an ins a horse-drawn carriage full of Southern Charm fans drove by, or walked by because it was a horse and stopped and everyone took pictures and then they went on by so clearly this must happen all day long and she must be very used to this kind of randomly strange behavior um, so we should, was I sort of hoping she'd come outside and invite me for tea maybe or a martini because it's five o'clock yes that did that happen no but you know a girl can dream I think this was this ooh, bad streets guys a little bumpy was this the park where Landon and Thomas took the dog for a walk and sat here um, with the dog? Does anyone know? Only you would know that level of detail, Marty, I'm sure. Well, Maybe I just binge watch place. five seasons, so it's fresh in my head. I'm thinking, oh, very bumpy streets in Charleston. This is beautiful. The it's sun came park. out. Yeah, it was a huge lake. It's cool. Look at that. I could, very I could, cool. I could live here if it weren't quite so humid. night because we raced home after dinner we ended up eating at Hall's last night which was amazing and I don't even think I'm gonna eat today <laughs> we ate so much food no I will but it was amazing a lot of you recommended Hall so thank you for that um, and then we raced home from dinner to watch the Southern Charm finale which was a little surreal watching the Southern Charm finale in Charleston so that was kind of fun all right now we're gonna head out the unofficial Southern Charm tour continues we are driving out to Mount Pleasant, and we're gonna get some coffee and go to Gwen's, where I'm gonna recreate Ashley's shopping spree. Right, babe? $10,000? I'm gonna be sitting in the car drinking the coffee. $10,000, holding you to it. I'm gonna have the uh, means of payment in my pocket. <laughs> Guarded any, by any, <laughs> And my own credit card. Anyway, uh, we are about to go over the Ravenel Bridge. Woo! In the pouring rain. So stand by for gratuitous bridge footage. Arthur Ravenel and Junior Bridge. Did you see that sign? Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat looking. This is thing. beautiful. I mean, it really is. It's a nice bridge. T-Rev! I am like having a small 
moment here. This is better than standing outside Patricia's house in the rain yesterday. Look who I'm with, y'all. This is Madison. Hi. I'm at Wins, and I'm in the Hi. private shopping suite with the top shelf bar in the famous. Look, and here's the. Oh, oh. Here's Marshall. Here's Marshall, and I don't have to do a job interview here. Thank God. Yeah. 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 Terrible. Yeah. Asks the hard hitting question. And, and I feel like there's a little bit of Texas. Look, there's Tito's on the bar. <laughs> there you go. There this you place go. is beautiful. Oh my goodness! Hey, I like the eighteen-year McCallums you got there. <laughs> Even Michael found Some someone. Right there, uh, <gasps> I want my closet <laughs> like this. You have Swarovski crystals on the wall. Oh my goodness! And, hand, and all of these stencils. That is beautiful. Yeah, and that's glass beads. Wow. Really, really. This is gorgeous. I want to live in here. I kind of want to live in here. Oh, and you have the, 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 the dressing gown is a barefoot dreams robe. Of course. Of course it is. <laughs> this is beautiful. Oh, look at this beautiful chin. This is something else. And we all know what happened in this room, guys. I'm sorry. I just can't help myself. Look at this. This is beautiful. No, no, we're not a wedding. You who needs it? Oh, yes, she is. is. Yeah. <laughs> so we drove through some of the most torrential rain I have ever seen in my life. It was a little harrowing, but we made it to Kiowa Island, and I'm in the sanctuary. Look at this beautiful staircase behind me, and I'll give you a little peek at the lobby. Michael and I are definitely going to come back for a little bit of a vacation in the near future. Not near future, but maybe in the next year or so. So crazy. We left the main hotel, the sanctuary, and now we are at the Ocean Course Clubhouse, which is a site of some Ryder Cup that's very famous that Michael would be upset that I don't know, but I don't know. But check out the view behind me. Even with the rain, it's so beautiful here. This might not be everyone's cup of tea. I'm not even a big fan of golf, but you have to admit, the view is stunning. And now we're gonna go get a burger, minus the bun for me, and uh, it's also a famous, it was rated the best burger in any pro shop in America. Literally, we drove by this on the way back to our hotel from Kiwa. That is Willow Salon. Let me zoom in. My Southern Charm friends. And this is where Chelsea works from the show. There it is. Should look a little familiar to you. My life is complete. It's closed for the day, so. I'm not walking in. Even if it was open, I wouldn't walk in. There are limits to how much I will humiliate myself. And um, we are done. It is bedtime. I can't remember what I've talked about on Instagram or vlog or what, but we are at our new hotel room at the Homewood Suites in downtown Charlotte. Charlotte, no. Where are we? Charleston. It's beautiful. It's brand new. It's a really nice setup. And I'm wearing one of the things I picked up at Gwyn's, which is a Barefoot Dreams like lounge sweatshirt top. I'm actually wearing it over my nightgown because I'm freezing. We have a really nice ceiling fan. Anyway, amazing time. I can't wait to come back. And come back I will probably next fall after Shane goes off to Ole Miss and Michael and I can come back whenever we feel like it. Definitely going back to Kiowa. That place has won my heart. Maybe Seabrook Island. Oh, Michael's saying maybe Seabrook Island. Really? Look really cool. Look really, okay. He's, he's looking at all the pamphlets we picked up. But Kiowa, oh my gosh. Top three most beautiful places I've ever visited up there with Pebble Beach and Scotland. It's up there. It's up there. It's up there and I will do a meetup the <clears> next <throat> time I come. All right, I gotta wash my face and pack up. So I will and see. And you're gonna get your hair done. At the <laughs> place I drove you by. I will see about that. I'm not, I don't know that I'll stalk the Southern Charmers. But you know what? If I come in the fall, They'll be filming then. Okay, I'm going to stop. This is getting like beyond psychotic. Good night. I'll see you all maybe at some point tomorrow. Or I may just cut this vlog off. We'll see. Good night. So uh, we are at the Charleston airport. And we are here for much longer than we had planned. Um, there was a flight delay that would have gotten us into Charlotte much later than we needed to be to catch our connecting flight. So we were put onto a much later flight that will now take us through Dallas, and that has been delayed. So we're just chilling, but the British Open is being played over there, so my traveling companion is content. And uh, we're just hanging out in Charleston Airport, chatting with our fellow passengers and such. 
you know, it is what it is. What are you going to do? But I have learned one thing, which I knew ahead of time, but it has just been reiterated to me. If you reiterate it by my husband, if you don't travel on Southwest, you do so at your own peril. I have watched like four flights on Southwest leave on time to Texas. So American can't give me a reason or won't give me a reason as to why they keep delaying. It's three different flights now. But the funny thing is, the flight that we were supposed to take out of Charlotte back to San Antonio, which we couldn't get onto because our first flight getting us there would have been delayed, is now also delayed. So that's three flights that are delayed. Thank you, American. And they will not give us a reason as to why. If you have to be stuck in an airport, this one's not bad. So there you go. It's all good. It is Sunday. We are back. I feel so tired. There's really no explanation for it, but we got back really late, almost midnight by the time we got in the house. It's far later than that. It is uh, two o'clock in the afternoon Sunday. Just been catching up, picked up the dogs, brought them home, gave them a bath. Actually went to go check out a new place to board them and um, just catching up with family. Got to unpack. Here comes Shane. Um, just doing stuff around the house. So I'm going to call it a day. It's been a really long vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for coming along with me to Charleston and riding through this crazy Nords from Anniversary sale and everything else. Your um, choice to subscribe and to watch, it means a lot to me. So like they say on Southwest, we know you have other things to do with your time. I thank you for choosing to spend that time with me and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.